was a little alley in San Francisco, back of the Southern Pacific Station at 3rd and Townsend, in red brick of drowsy, lazy afternoons with everybody at work in offices, in the air you feel the impending rush of their commuter frenzy, as soon they'll be charging en masse for market and sansom buildings on foot and in buses and all well-dressed through working man Frisco of walk-up truck drivers, and even the poor grime be marked Third Street of lost bums, even Negroes so hopeless and long left East and meanings of responsibility and try that now all they do is stand there spitting in the broken glass, sometimes 50 in one afternoon against one wall at Third and Howard. It is all these Milbray and San Carlos neat necktied producers and commuters of America and steel civilization rushing by with San Francisco Chronicles and green call bulletins, not even enough time to be disdainful. They've got to catch 130, 132, 134, 136, all the way up to 146, till the time of evening supper in homes of the railroad earth, when high in the sky the magic stars ride above the following hot shot freight trains. It's all in California. It's all a sea. I swim out of it in afternoons of sun-hot meditation in my jeans with head on handkerchief on Brakeman's lantern or, if not working, on book. I look up at blue sky of perfect lost purity and feel the warp of wood of old America beneath me. And I have insane conversations with Negroes in second-story windows above and everything is pouring in. The switching moves of boxcars in that little alley, which is so much like the alleys of Lowell, and I hear far off in the sense of coming night that engine calling our mountains. But it was that beautiful cut of clouds I could always see above the little SP alley. Puffs floating by from Oakland, or the gate of Marin to the north, or San Jose south. The clarity of Cal to break your heart. It was the fantastic drowse and drum hum of lum mum afternoon, nothing to do. Old Frisco with end of land sadness. The people, the alley full of trucks and cars of businesses nearabouts. Nobody knew or far from cared who I was all my life, 3,500 miles from birth all opened up and at last belonged to me in great America. Now it's night in Third Street. The keen little neons and also yellow bulb lights of impossible to believe flops. The dark ruined shadows moving back of torn yellow shades like a degenerate China with no money. The cats in Annie's alley. The flop comes on, moans, rolls. The street is loaded with darkness. Blue sky above with stars hanging high over old hotel roofs and blowers of hotels moaning out dusts of interior. The grime inside the word in mouths is falling out tooth by tooth. The reading rooms tick tock big clock with creek chair and slant boards and old faces looking up over rimless spectacles bought in some West Virginia or Florida or Liverpool, England pawn shop long before I was born. And across rains, they've come to the end of the land sadness, end of the world gladness. All your San Francisco will have to fall eventually and burn again. But I'm walking, and one night, a bum fell into the hole of the construction job where they're tearing a sewer by day. The husky Pacific and electric youths in torn jeans who work there, often I think of going up to some of them like, say, blonde ones with wild hair and torn shirts, and they say, you ought to apply for the railroad, it's much easier work. You don't stand around the street all day and you get much more pay. But this bum fell in the hole, you saw his foot stick out. British MG, also driven by some eccentric, once backed into that hole. And as I came home from a long Saturday afternoon local, the Hollister, out of San Jose, miles away across virtuous fields of prune and juice joy, here's this British MG backed and legs up, wheels up into a pit and bums and cops standing right outside the coffee shop. It was the way they fenced it, but he never had the nerve to do it due to the fact that he had no money and nowhere to go and oh, his father was dead and oh, his mother was dead and oh, his sister was dead and oh, his whereabout was dead, was dead. But and then at that time also, I used to lay in my room on long Saturday afternoons listening to Jumpin' George with my fifth toque, no tea, and just under the sheets laughed to hear the crazy music. Mama, he treats your daughter mean. Mama, Papa, don't you come in here, I'll kill you, etc. 
getting high by myself in room glooms, and all wondrous knowing about the Negro, the essential American, out there, always finding his solace, his meaning in the Fellaheen street, and not an abstract morality. And even when he has a church, you see the pastor out front bowing to the ladies on the make. You hear his great vibrant voice on the Sunday afternoon sidewalk full of sexual vibratos saying, why, yes, ma'am, but the gospel do say that man was born of woman's womb. <laughs> no, and so, by that time, I come crawling out of my warm sack and hit the street. When I see the railroad ain't gonna call me till 5 a.m. Sunday morning, probably, for a local out of Bay Shore. In fact, always for a local out of Bay Shore. And I go to the whale bar of all the wild bars in the world, the one and only Third and Howard. And there I go in and drink with the madmen, and if I get drunk, I get the girl who come up to me in there one night, I was there with Al Buckle, said to me, you want to play with me tonight, Jim? And I didn't think I, <laughs> I didn't think I had enough money. And I told this to Charlie Lowe, and he laughed, said, how do you know she wanted money? Always take the chance that she might be out just for love, or just out for love. You know what I mean. Don't be a sucker. She was a good-looking doll. And she said, how would you like to ool your cool with me, mon? And I stood there like a jerk. In fact, bought drink, got drink drunk that night in the 299 Club. I was hit by the proprietor, the band breaking up the fight. Before I had a chance to decide to hit him back, which I didn't want to do anyway. And out on the street, I tried to rush back in, but they had locked the door and were looking at me through the forbidden glass in the door with faces like undersea. I should have played with her shoo doo 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 